Hello everyone, my name is Avik Mukhopadhyay and currently I am pursuing MTech in Aerospace Engineering in uh, IIT Hyderabad in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Department. So in this presentation, I will discuss about the details of the MA department and uh, details about the admission of uh, MTech in Aerospace Engineering. So first is about the IIT Hyderabad. So IIT Hyderabad is a very uh, premier institute in India, which was established in 2008. And this campus is uh, spread across 576 acres, which is very big campus. And currently there are 4,200 students in which 1,760 students are in undergraduate, 1,280 students in masters and uh, 1,160 PhD students. And IIT Hyderabad provide, uh, provides uh, 15 BTEC courses, uh, 12 MTEC courses and uh, PhD. And the faculty to student ratio is 1 to 14 and IIT Hyderabad is very good in research because for the last 5 years the number of Scopus index publications are 6000. Uh, and uh, according to NIRF the rank in 2023 IIT Hyderabad ranked uh, 8 in engineering, 14 in research and the overall rank of IIT Hyderabad in India is 14. So next is facilities at IIT Hyderabad. So there are lots of facilities in IIT Hyderabad. Uh, first is outstanding hostel, uh, single rooms for every student and in the every room there will be there is uh, super first internet connections and also there is a radiant cooling uh, which helps to keep the every room uh, cool in the summer. And next is the sports facilities. Uh, there are uh, cricket, football, hockey, table tennis, lawn tennis, volleyball, squash, basketball, badminton, swimming, athletics, gym. And next is uh, open air theater. All the cultural programs are held in this open air theater. And also the there are uh, Tihan, which is a technological innovation hub where, where you can work in the innovative projects. And there are also in a knowledge center, conventional center, international guest house. And also there are lots of clubs like a dance club, music club, poetry club, TEDx, astronomy club, finance club, film club, aero club, etc. And also research complexes, etc. So uh, now the mechanical engineering department was established in 2008, but from 2011, the department of mechanical and aerospace was established. So in this, uh, in, uh, this uh, department uh, offered uh, to uh, BTEC courses like mechanical and engineering. Next is mechanical engineering with minor in aerospace and then with honors and dual degree MTech plus BTEC. And also there are uh, five, five MTech courses, uh, mechanics and design, integrated design and manufacturing, thermofluid engineering, aerospace engineering and computational mechanics, which is an MTech online course. In other IITs, there are lots of there are specializations in aerospace department, but in IIT Hyderabad, the aerospace engineering itself a uh, specialization degree in MA department and the, there are 35 uh, full-time faculties in uh, MA department and 11 regular staffs. So next is the uh, syllabus uh, of uh, in aerospace engineering in IIT Hyderabad. So in the, in the first semester, uh, you will have four compulsory subjects, ma uh, mathematical uh, methods in engineers, introduction to flight, aerospace structural mechanics and English communication. And there will be uh, one elective subjects. This is the list of the elective subjects among which you can choose only one. Uh, the elective subjects are finite element method, computational fluid dynamics, advanced heat transfer and sustainable energy technology. In the, next, uh, in the second semester, there are subjects like flight vehicle aerodynamics, aerospace propulsion, aerospace laboratory, uh, seminar and industrial lecture. And there will be one elective subject, sorry, two elective subjects. Uh, the, uh, the elective subjects for semester two are listed in the below. You can see that. And in third and fourth semester, there will be full master thesis. You will work upon the, your master thesis. You will get one year to work on the smart master thesis. Next is the admission and the fee structure. So uh, there are in IIT Hyderabad there are three type of three modes uh, of admission. Like first is MHRD mode where get qualified students are eligible. Next is self sponsor mode uh, where uh, the students uh, have to give uh, the written test and interview which was uh, which were con which are conducted uh, in IIT Hyderabad. And if if any student pass this written test and interview, they are eligible for the admission. And the third is uh, IIT BTEC mode. 
uh, if any students uh, uh, completed his or her BTEC from any IIT and if they have any they have CGPA minimum eight, then they are eligible for this mode. Only they have to give an uh, they have to give a, a written test and interview, and they will be eligible. And uh, the M intake on this M uh, for M tech in aerospace engineering are twelve, and the MS. Uh, that is mtech research intake is 2 actually it uh, the intake in the mtech research depends upon the industrial process project uh, if any project comes to the professor then then the professor uh, send the notifications uh, for the mtech research intake and next is fees for the mhrd students those who are uh, who are who have qualified the um, who qualifies the gate exam uh, they uh, then they have to pay for two lakh around two lakh thirty thousand for two years and the for self sponsor students the fees for the two years is 12 lakh around so next is the cutoff marks for uh, getting the admission in aerospace engineering so for the uh, general uh, general candidates the minimum grade score is uh, like 600 plus for the obc there is uh, the grade score is uh, 500 plus and for the st student uh, the grade score is 4, uh, 400 plus actually this cutoff marks varies with the uh, year by year depending upon the cutoff but this uh, score are the safe zone for getting admission in iit hyderabad in the in aerospace engineering so uh, next is document required for application from uh, the, the most important documents is a uh, gate scorecard which is very much important and next is the applicant personal details like name address uh, and uh, and the parents name etc and next is class 12 mark sheet then btech degree certificate and btech mark sheets um, mark sheets of all semesters then the uh, cop registration number and next uh, category certificate if any student is from obc st sc or ews category then they have then they have to submit this category certificate and uh, and next is medical certificate and last is no vehicle certificate this certificate will be provided from the uh, iit hyderabad just you have to print out the uh, paper and you have to form, fill up the form and then you have to submit that and next is professors actually uh, in the aerospace uh, there are total six professors uh, first is uh, professor dr mahesh ms whose research area is aerodynamics and aeroelasticity next professor dr sk kartik uh, who is working on the high speed aerodynamics field next uh, doc, professor dr nana prakash kanagaraj who is working uh, on the solid rocket propellant and the combustion and next uh, professor dr gangadharan raju who is um, who is working upon who is working on the area on um, aerospace structures and uh, then uh, professor dr uh, chandra prakash uh, whose research interest in is the um, experimental mechanics and the composite materials and at last uh, professor dr vishnu aruni who is uh, uh, who is working upon the dynamics and the control then the lab facilities there are lots of labs in the iit hyderabad or in the MA department uh, for the aerospace engineer for aerospace students there are the listed labs are there in the IIT Hyderabad campus uh, computational aerodynamics lab experimental aerodynamics lab wind tunnel lab CFD lab fluid mechanics lab heat transfer lab and there is also a flight simulator lab also structural lab solid mechanics lab and energetics and combustion lab if any students uh, is uh, is interested to work upon any research area then they can then they can uh, work in this uh, listed labs actually so next is the placement so uh, there are uh, the first two gk in aerospace and pratt whitney they uh, these two companies are core aerospace company they give uh, the uh, salary uh, the package is like 10 lpa and pratt whitney for uh, 12 lpa and another thing there are lots of mechanical company uh, come in the iit hyderabad for the placement where the aerospace engineering students are also eligible uh, the companies are like tata advanced system LP, uh, limited uh, Tata Motors um, and also the Whirlpool they uh, they give the package like 9 LPA, 10 LPA and 12 LPA and also uh, Mercedes Benz also came uh, for last year but they only hired the female candidates only and they give the package like 16 LPA and also GE Aerospace also came for the six, uh, 16 LPA package and uh, then the Tech, Tech Mahindra and another thing is like there are lots of uh, non-core companies also in which the aerospace uh, engineering students are eligible and the packages varies from the like 20 to 30 LPA. 
next is the essential software actually so first uh, there are lots of softwares in the market for the aerospace people but uh, in, if any student works on the uh, is interested in work of, uh, on the field of aerodynamics then they should have knowledge on the uh, ansys fluent or or open form and if any students is interested into to work on the field of structure then they should have knowledge uh, uh, or they should learn the software like ANSYS Workbench, Abacus and in IIT Hyderabad the Abacus is extensively used for the analysis in structures actually. So it, Abacus is very important for the structure and in placement also uh, Abacus uh, many companies prefer Abacus for the, uh, for the analysis. And next is propulsion. Propulsion, uh, there is a software like NASA CA which helps to uh, analyze the combustion. So it is also a very good, uh, very good uh, software to work upon the combustion field. And next is design software. Then, uh, so every uh, aerospace student should learn the AutoCAD uh, for the basics because if you, if any student learn the AutoCAD, then they will have an idea about the design software and they can easily switch into uh, to the other software. And uh, for the aerospace industry, CATIA VFAB is very much used and it is very important. So every student should learn, uh, every aerospace student should learn this CATIA VFAB software. And also they can learn SOLIDWORKS and ANSYS space plane. But among these uh, softwares, uh, CATIA VFAB is very much important for the aerospace people. So and uh, the next is programming languages, Python and MATLAB. These two programming languages are very much important to learn uh, because uh, the uh, when you will when any student will do the uh, do the project, then the analysis of that project will be done uh, on uh, through the uh, by the Python and the MATLAB. So these two uh, programming langu languages is very are very much important to learn. And there are lots of non-core skills also like machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence because these three are very new area research research area and these three subjects or these three tools are used to analyze the data because in current uh, currently the research is going the very high quality research is going on and there are lots of data you have to handle that so these three are uh, three uh, three core skill non core skill are, in, uh, are will be beneficial if you learn that three these and there is also you have you should learn the excel and ppt also because in in the iits uh, uh, there are lots there will be lots of presentation also so you should know like how to make the PPT very first actually. so <clears throat> at least my suggestion my suggestion is uh, before getting admission to the uh, before taking admission to the any IITs uh, so you should have the uh, course subject very clear because in IIT because in IITs uh, the, there will be exam assignments and that that the quality the level of the uh, question, uh, questions in the assignment and the exam is very high so you should have very you should have very clear knowledge about that and next is learn any design software because because uh, in uh, in the masters you will have to you will have to work upon the master thesis so you should learn any uh, design language design software actually uh, and then uh, learn matlab and python i have said like uh, like in in the most course in the most uh, projects these two softwares, uh, these two MATLAB and Python are extensively used and then the learn latex. The student only learn, uh, many students do not know about the latex and uh, every student like maximum students know the word but uh, if you want but in the IIT you have to uh, write reports and the research papers also so in writing in latex will be very easy to uh, easy to write any report or, or any research uh, research paper and in IITs most of the reports and most of the research papers are written in the latex so if you if you learn the latex then it will be beneficial for you in IITs and there are lots of uh, free resources to learn uh, the latex in YouTube also Next is research paper reading skill. In IIT, you have to you have to read a lots of research paper for your coursework for your uh, re, uh, for your project. So if you if you have habit of reading the uh, research paper, then it will be very easy for you to uh, to do the project master's project actually. And next is pressure handling skill. This is very much important because in IIT there will be 
exam there will be assignment there will be project and also quizzes so in in one time you have to handle all the things and so you should have the pressure handling skill actually to handle all these situations and the, the last most important is communication because in the placement uh, it will help you to crack the uh, to crack the uh, placements actually so if you have the if you do not have the communication skills so it's my suggestion is to work upon the communication skill to speak with others people in english then uh, it will be beneficial for you so um, next is the uh, gate aerospace academy is a is a is a uh, one of the best institute in uh, india for the, for preparing aerospace engineering for the gate so i took the coaching uh, from a gate aerospace engineering and gate aerospace engineering provides four type of courses like classroom program postal program online program and thesis program i took the i took the pro online program and uh, it it was very good experience if you if any i am from i am from mechanical background so i did not have any 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 knowledge about the uh, aerospace aerospace uh, engineering so uh, but uh, after taking this course after taking this program uh, the faculties i it it, it was like um, i understood all the subjects very clearly because the faculties uh, started with very basics actually so so it in the every every program is very good and the course structure is also very good these are the last 5 years uh, results actually uh, so you can see from that the very good ranks are there uh, and the most ranks are from the classroom uh, 99% from the classroom programs actually so the gate aerospace academy are there in very many uh, social media like facebook linkedin telegram twitter whatsapp uh, and uh, instagram youtube and coda also so uh, and in youtube there are lots of aerospace related uh, videos are there and also the yeah, and the and also the uh, gate guidance aerospace gate guidance videos are are there in in the youtube channel of gate aerospace academy so you can check and you can subscribe the youtube channel for further uh, notification and thank you